Hello, co workers, and welcome to Twisted Wonderland's a Twisted Halloween. So, this is their Halloween event. Finally, the first one that we are experiencing. I just want to really point out the fact that I really love this SSR card of Cater here. He just looks really good, especially with like, the effects on the main screen here. So this event actually apparently ends at October 23rd, which is kind of interesting because it doesn't actually end on Halloween date, as I would expect. But um, I'm not sure if maybe it's them just wanting to, you know, end it before the month is up, or they have a second Halloween that just goes immediately after it. But we, I guess that's just like speculation at this point. So let's start with the event itself, going through the story for book one. Now this event is quite long, and so we're gonna do our best to go through it together. Um, I was sick for the last bit, but I'm feeling a lot better now, so... Let's go through a happy Halloween together. I'm curious on how many parts we'll be able to go through. Oh, I guess we're just playing games at Grimm. I wonder what kind of game it was. I think it's like a board game or... No, I don't think we have any video games or TV. <laughs> yeah, that is uh quite a what the decoration right outside our door. <laughs> Oh, oh, Lilia. <laughs> of course, just spooking us as usual. I love how he self proclaims himself as an elusive beauty. I mean, for paper mache, yeah, that's a really, really good display. <laughs> of course, girly. <laughs> I mean, what are you guys? Why are you guys decorating Ranch Shackle Door? I mean, I, I'm sh it certainly gives the place a little bit more life than usual. That's kind of sweet though. Malia's wants to spend Halloween at our dorm. Mm. Oh, Grim, you don't know what Halloween is. <laughs> well then. I mean, yeah, it's not surprising. We don't really know anything about Grim's background, but at the very least, we have our world's version of Halloween. Oh, I love <laughs> I love how on the map you can even see the decorations they have around it. 
That's so cute. A little, little, little illustrations. You see little pumpkins on the side of campus too. I, it certainly is, and um, and the f you know breaking down the fourth wall sense as well. So that's quite a fair bit of ghost then. <laughs> uh, sounds like some prankster poster poster guys. They're not doing uh, terribly bad things. Ah, oh, that, that's kind of interesting. It's just doing, I guess, a Halloween lore or background to. Mr. Warnland's Halloween. <laughs> yeah, we just like want to dress up for funsies. <laughs> Makes sense, they're in magically sent like concentrated locations. Oh, happy Halloween, Lilia. He is very, very excited. I mean, yeah, it's um, it's it's pretty widespread back home too. I'm actually curious. Um, I know most of my my subscribers uh, out there are from you know North America, so U.S., Canada, but a lot are also from the Philippines, it seems, or like Southeast Asia. So, for you guys out there, I wonder, do you really celebrate Halloween, and or is this more like just a fun? holiday that you just kind of like go out and eat or something <laughs> rather than uh you know go trick-or-treating i'm curious how you got how different uh, like other people celebrate halloween that's outside of you know north america i mean like i guess in the 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 underworld itself like how ha halloween yeah they will it's a nice time for all the spirits to just kind of, you know, go out and cut loose for a bit too. I can see the appeal.
Okay, so it is a month before Halloween. We were celebrating pretty early, but then again, nowadays, I feel like you go into a store <laughs> and they're already selling like Halloween goods, even though it's not even October yet. Background is perfect. Kind of interesting how they have like the eastern dragon that they went with here along with like the big gates because honestly right now it looks more like Chinese New Year than it does uh, Halloween. Oh damn, ghosts can just go out and buy cell phones? <laughs> but, oh, okay, I guess. We all go online. It's like, damn, I want my own phone. <laughs> Run. Oh, I love, love me some dark jokes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting. It's like everyone any poor paranormal investigators out there? It's almost Halloween. When's almost Halloween? Just go out and start trying to take pictures of ghosts. Ah, uh, okay. Now you're even college. I guess, yeah. Magic schools, concentrated magic locations, and the like. the ghost having fun you know like these these guys have been with us for quite some time they're they're like kind of like our dorm mates almost they kind of share the same like our housemates you know they, 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 they deserve to have fun too oh look at all the pumpkins and the candles set up i mean night raven college has the perfect aesthetic for the halloween Halloween decorations and the like. I guess it's a really big deal. <laughs> I mean, uh, wild's one way to describe it. That's true, we don't even have to do it ourselves. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess so, you know, it's not Halloween without some jack-o'-lanterns. And some, like, pumpkin carving. <laughs> so shun. And that's cool, though, that, though, you know, the grown-ups are gonna have fun with Halloween, too. I mean, I guess that's the theme in our, our world as well, in the human realm. Non-Twisted Wonderland, it's, uh... The adults have Halloween parties as well. Mm, okay, say I'm I guess there are certain events so far it seems where um you know like the cultural festival for example in chapter or book five that you know, all the outsiders can actually come in take a look. It seems really cool though. I mean, imagine being able to go to Night Raven College and just having a fun Halloween time. Corley tells us nothing. He never does. Um, it's the first I've heard of it, sir. Oh, nice, dudes. A good, responsible boy. It's like the same way he got picked to be the star sender for Dance of Wishes. Oh, you do a great job, Deuce. say as prom. Huh, this is very interesting because this implies that Night Raven College has prom. So I'm curious on how prom works at this like academy. Like clearly they don't have any, I guess it's an all boys school. So they don't really have any, you know, girls where you do like, I don't know, prom proposals and like dates and stuff. Unless, I don't know, maybe they just ask each other out. I could be wrong. Maybe they still do it <laughs> just with each other. Um, but I'm, I'm super curious on how, how they do prom as well. I wonder if that'll actually be something we get to experience at some point in the game. A party sounds fun though. It's been a long time since I've been to a Halloween party.
Mm. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time since I've actually really done a proper proper Halloween celebration. I've always always been working or you know studying. There's no no rest for the wicked. Things still need to be done. Even on the Halloween day. Oh wow, we just like time skipped all the way to a month later in October. Like... Eight days until Halloween, alright, just time skipped it. Huh. So we have Apple and Bill are part of the community, but Rook is not part of it. And Jade with Azul. Even Idiot has shown up. That's rare. He's <laughs> here in the flesh as Azul has stated. Oh, Mally's is actually here for once to a meeting. Oh, Bill, you're the community chair. <laughs> That's really cheap. It's like less than, I guess, the equivalent of well, a, a dollar or so. Ten a.m. to ten p.m. Wow, you guys really worked late then. Complete opposites here. <laughs> I was expecting nothing less from Bill. Everything was what has to be in tip top, embodiment of beauty. you guys spent on your costumes. I can't imagine like Paul Vieira going to something like Party City and just grabbing <laughs> grabbing wings and like just like whatever random Halloween accessories. Probably sewed it themselves and everything. Wow, India. Yeah, you're actually like putting yourself out there and like super proud of your door over here. <laughs> I bet just one dorm just like decided to be lazy and cheap and it's just <laughs> like duh. Just paper, ma paper mache stuff. Cheap Halloween decorations from the store.
Well, ramshackle door. Did right in front of my house, Malleus. You know what? He, I I hate to admit it, but he's kind of right. <laughs> our our dorm looks like a haunted house. I'm glad at least you feel bad for me, dudes. <laughs> All right, we get to check out everybody's setup. Oh, I like the little carved pumpkins there. I feel like I should carve a pumpkin myself here. Well, that's one way to put it, in a nice terms. I forget that Sebek is a cucumber. That's what- <laughs> that's what Phil calls him. He's- he's not a potato, he's a cucumber. <laughs> I can't tell if that's an upgrade or downgrade from a potato. Very nice. Entire getup, makeup and all. Even painted the nails. A very nice vibrant red. I can feel that. I too am a fan of the red nail polish. I mean the outfit itself does kind of make me think of the, the Jiangshu, like the Chinese hopping zombies. Our theme this year is the... okay, so... I'm... I'm assuming they are referring to, like... The Long, like the Chinese dragon, like... The, the term for the, like a dragon in Chinese, and not like our theme this year is the Long, which sounds very strange. So yeah, translation-wise, it may feel weird reading that if you don't under didn't realize that Long is referring to a Chinese dragon. I mean, it's very vibrant for sure. <laughs> Eastern dragons. <laughs> oh, okay. How longs are entirely distinct from dragons as we know them. Yeah, I, 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 for for those of you who actually you know kind of play through in English and are like watching this just for funsies, or those of you who read this and wondering what is he talking about when when he's referring to longs, it's uh I feel like they should have probably put in brackets the actual you know definition of this, so it looks very strange trying to read this if you don't understand the context. <laughs> But yes, Chinese dragons, East, uh, Western and Eastern dragons, completely different. <laughs> I also love how Malleus clearly is like, aside from gargoyles, he's now info dumping to <laughs> Bill about about the difference between Eastern and Western dragons. And then Bill's like, please, I've had enough. I don't need to hear this anymore.
Yeah, it's like they- it's the info dumping. He's, you know, the hyper... Well, for India, he just has, like, hyper fixations on certain things, and then Malleus just likes the info dump. <laughs> Geeking out. You know what? That's a proper, fairly accurate term. <laughs> of course, the dorms are going to compete no matter what. very interesting. So Lilia, you've traveled to a lot of places and clearly some form of China exists in Twisted Wonderland. So I actually personally think it would be interesting if we... Because despite, you know, I guess like, you know, there's, there's some Mulan references in here and whatnot, definitely. Um, but we have not seen any, I guess, Oriental, Asian, or Eastern descent like, students on campus. Not that I can really tell, but it's hard. Most of them are mob characters anyways. Um, I, I personally actually would like to see uh, maybe some, I don't know. It's hard to really find like a villain from Mulan to be like a twist in Twister of Wonderland. But it'd be interesting to actually see like an, I don't know, Asian student. On campus. I mean, I, I we, gotta, we gotta give a shout out to Mushu. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. You can imagine how epic Halloween decorations are when you can use magic and like infuse them with magic. See what hearts the Buell has next. Into the botanical gardens. So many of the pumpkins in the cemetery. Hmm. Ooh, cater. Skeleton bones. Interesting. I have to admit, it always cracks me up to see with that crisscross. Uh, lace-up pattern near the crotch area of their pants. It's like, it's- I guess it's all part of the aesthetic appeal, but it's uh, in interesting design choice. It's like they went for- it's like, uh, skeletons, I guess? It's kind of like skeletons. They also kind of look like ghost grooms. Also zo kind of zombie-ish. It's like a mixed here and there. Okay, so they're kind of like a rib cage with like the red center as like I guess the heart. Hmm. 
<laughs> Lara bad. Still is looking infuriating. <laughs> okay, Cater. Can you imagine all hearts of people just like wearing like white outfits or like black and white outfits to represent skeletons and just rolling around in the grass? The ribble. Okay, Kater, you know what? <laughs> Another bone pun. You know what? That tickled my funny bone here. A clap. Just for you, Gator. Good. I'll, I'll give you this one. The rib bones. <laughs> but you know what? The the fact that you have the roses forming a heart underneath, that is pretty aesthetic, I will admit. I I do like that. Nice. Daily training. Ah. <laughs> no, but no one really wants to mess with you either, Riddle. They don't want to accidentally break any rules. <laughs> Absolutely boss, sir. <laughs> just like Dusix yelling that out while just like as he straightens his back, I can pic I can picture it. Next stop, Octavenel. Ritzius, by far. Ooh. Got some interesting setup in the alchemy workshop. Hey, Floyd. That's <laughs> a legitimate make kids cry. You know what, Jack? Octavenel already does that, so... They are still within their element. <laughs> Floyd's like so proud of it. Ooh, <laughs> the mummified. What's really funny is the fact that they uh, had they switched their hats. They went for a different hat that has a round top and also wrapped the top of the hat in like bandages. <laughs> I mean, the little little bone bolt like bow is uh, pretty cute. But I have to all I have to say is those like wear a weird belt bondage get up to have under a shirt like oh okay guys <laughs> who came up with this idea first <laughs> got a lot of buckles on ya mummies okay so it's now wet just completely dry
Okay, I mean, it still, it still fits the theme. Oh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Professionally made. So what do your students do then instead? Bro, yeah, you guys are still running a monster lounge. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. Cost optimization. That that that's definitely Azul's. Azul's like strength. I I guess so. With your costume, would take more. All right, like less. Tailoring. Long term, most are allowed maintenance contract. Oh, okay, it's got some business deals in there. And it's like, oh, you know, ex extra any extra money goes to a party for everyone. And then Azul's like, hell no, I'm spending every single cent that I can, every fall mark for my own stuff. I ain't, I ain't having anyone spend an extra, any extra money. Definitely had the boss optimization to the max. It's cool and eco friendly. To the mystery shop we go. I like the pumpkin lantern they have. I like the face makeup. Ah, oh, werewolves. <laughs> Little monsters that wolf beasts in the city turn into. Oh, okay, when they get possessed. Do maybe do werewolves not exist in Twisted One Way? It's cool though, seeing how they're like their outfits and stuff still. Still incorporated into it. Aww. 
I love how he turns out this little grin there, but he just looks cute. <laughs> Cal kid friendly. It's Callum. Callum is kid friendly. Callum, Callum is just cute. <laughs> Betting zoo. <laughs> Kate, see, Kater gets it. Oh, that was Toad's adorbs. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Okay, cloth out for so you turn recycled bottles and plastic trash into cloth? I was like, where did you send it to? Did you like a some sort of processing factory? Sustainable Halloween, you know what? That's that's a good thing. <laughs> That's what Jamil told you to say. Uh, <laughs> it's a Callum, please. You, you, you had that pitch. You know, you, you had it going. <laughs> oh, and then it's a savanna claw. Way in the Colosseum. Oh wow, look at that ship and all of the treasures. A ship. That's right, Jade. That sure is a ship. <laughs> That's impressive though, is Savannah Claw actually like built this entire ship. I mean like You have a lot of all you guys have pretty good carpentry skills then, like damn, you can just all I guess they have probably a bunch of tough guys able to just like carry planks of wood and just build it all. Ooh, look at all the seashells on that. Not to mention, like, the exposed, exposed v-neck there, and pirates. <laughs> Pirate Jack, or maybe a Captain Jack. <laughs> well, that's cute. It's like pirates, I wonder, or yeah, maybe it's like, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean the story. Or Cat the Adventures of Captain Mustache. Hmm. Wait, alligator. Hmm. So maybe this is like, you know, kind of Captain Hook reference. Captain Mustache. Let's fight off alligators. Oh, that's pretty cool.
<laughs> He's really good at counterfeiting, you mean. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, come on, yeah, yeah. They did a really good job. Uh, I see you. you. Of course, I can't imagine Idia like talking shit in front of Leona's face. I'm still like, holy crap though, an sh entire ship though. Like, that's still some engineering involved and architecture, like architectural design you have to figure out. I mean, it's a pretty badass setup. And I think the last one is Igni Hide, right? In the library. Pretty cool projection screens. Ooh, <laughs> I'm a pumpkin knight. I actually really like the armor on him. Pumpkin Knight. Creepy Hollow. Hmm. I mean, like, instead of like Sleepy Hollow. Oof. That's a complete roast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's technically some wearing his mask or helmet. The armor is well designed.
Ah, uh, yes, pump your A. Last door, we gotta check out. See what they've got. And, uh, Blanche of Horror and Allure. What a fancy title. Oh, okay, he's got the clacking of yarn. I mean, that is pretty cool for a costume. chamber no photography no surprises oh and rook i mean it's just a viewer room <laughs> decorate it at all. Harmony with, Harmony with Legends. Of course. Wow. That sure is uh, something, alright? It is certainly an elaborate costume, as vampires. You know what, Palm Fury vampires makes perfect sense, to be honest. It's like, oh, Vil. You're pale, you're cold. Yep, vampire. You would... Oh. <laughs> okay, something special. <laughs> Grandeur. Heavy layer of eyeshadow. I guess, yeah, true. It draws out the eyes. I mean, clearly all the budget and time went into the outfits and makeup. How appropriate for Palm Fury. Dark Mirror. Dark Mirror doesn't give a shit. 
<laughs> I I don't I don't know if he's ever smiled. Nice. Everyone looks so good in their costumes. Happy Halloween! You all look so good! And we get our dues! Follow me, Lady. Okay, well, we've reached about the hour mark. We got the tour of all the dorms and see what they have set up for their Halloween. So I think this is a good place to uh, end the video for time being. I don't know how many chapters are actually in uh, book one there. But uh, I think it's a good place to stop for the time being. We'll continue on in the next video. So... For those of you who followed along till now, do you have a favorite costume? Which dorm do you like the best with your Halloween decorations and stuff? I think Savannah Claus ship is like amazing in terms of like the actual set. Clearly like that would win in terms of actual background and stuff. Uh, Ignihide's tech is kind of cool to think about too. Um, I would love to see some projection mapping in like in real life as well. And uh, the botanical garden with the cemetery seems like also very fitting, along with Cavanaugh's, like, you know, mummy, like, uh, whatever evil scientist lab. I think that's all cool. I would love to visit each one of these, uh, these dorms. In terms of outfits, um, I actually really do like uh, Savannah Claus, like, pirate getup, um, and then Pompfiore just went all out with their did their uh, outfits as uh, well. So yeah, let me know, you guys, like, how you're finding this Halloween event to be. And uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as usual. We love hearing from you guys, as always, as we, you know, kind of discuss about the events that happen. So until next time, then, this is Koamio, Koamio clocking out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!